Hey, Michelle, you know, the press days occur on the eve of the auto show, and on the eve of the press days, sometimes big events go on. We're at Subaru's event. In a little while, they're going to introduce their new three-row crossover SUV to all the media that are here. It'll be out next year, so that's a little bit into the future. But part of what we did today was we got a look a little further into the future. Industry and press days get started with what they call auto mobility, basically a look at the future of getting around. Lots of stuff being pitched to auto companies, a technology fair in a way. But there's also some technology that would seem ready to go, like from an upstart luxury electric vehicle maker called Lucid. This is our, our prototype. We call it the Lucid Air. Uh, this is an alpha prototype, not a show car. So this is a pre-production build, and it's about 98% representative of the car we want to launch in 2019. Here in 2017, I got to go for a ride. How perfect are the downtown LA buildings to provide a view through the glass roof? Its range is claimed to be up to 400 miles. And like most everyone, I asked how it compares to Tesla. We don't consider Tesla a luxury product. It's a sporty car, it's very quick, but it's not a luxury vehicle. Our goal is to really create a luxury car to compete with the highest level German products, English products. On display in the convention center lobby, some other startups that are aimed at a lower price point, and which which obviously play in a different space. And how about something for the wide open spaces? This all-electric prototype is called the Bollinger B1. It's not only a plug-in, but can go off-road. But it is a four-wheel drive truck. It's, it's built primarily for off-road, but you can use it on-road like the Land Rover drivers. Uh, it looks a lot like a Land Rover. Then the, the, the customers, we've got about 12,000 pre-orders right now, hand raisers that said that they're interested in this. We've been out like three months with this truck and uh, a lot of interest. If you think you have interest, you'll be waiting along with the other 12,000. Plan on two years or more to get one. Well, that obviously is way off in the future. What we're seeing tonight and tomorrow and the next day are things that are about to come out. And there's a lot of intros going on. I can tell you what Subaru is doing. It's a family-sized crossover SUV called the Ascent. And the only hint I can give you is that Subaru is really popular with dog owners. So what's going to happen here, you're going to want to see it. In fact, they'll have it for you tonight on Eyewitness News at 11 o'clock.